My name is Wes Drips. I'm an assistant professor in Earth and Environmental Science. Uh, the course that I teach is EES 16. It's called Global Change. Uh, th this is a course that I uh, originally it was taught as kind of a pretty standard Earth and Environmental Science course uh, with a standard textbook covering kind of the typical suite of Earth and Environmental topics. And about two semesters ago, I decided to radically change the course. Um, whereby in talking with a lot of my students, I realized that many of their prior knowledge on a lot of these topics was coming from kind of the mass media's portrayal. So they were often quoting things like, well, on the day after tomorrow, or in Dante's Peak, or in, you know, Aaron Brockovich, I saw that. And in having these discussions, I was realizing that although many of these films have kind of an initial scientific premise that Hollywood had taken great liberties in many cases, I think, to do what Hollywood does best and kind of take what was initially a scientific premise and then Hollywoodize it, um, and was creating in the process a lot of misconceptions. Um, and so the premise of the course was to actually then teach actually that same kind of introductory earth environmental science course that I had originally taught, but spin it a little bit differently from a little more pop culture, a little more kind of mass media approach, and hit these misconceptions head on whereby we would view the films and then use that as a platform to really have a discussion about where the film had gone correctly and where the film had gone kind of drastically wrong. Um, and I found it, the students certainly like it, it's kind of a, the idea of watching Hollywood blockbuster films in lab has, has certainly gotten their attention and uh, I think they all look forward to coming to lab to do it and in the same way it's provided kind of a good talking point for me, it's students are anxious to want to talk about Hollywood films um, and I can cover the same material and the same kind of topical material for it. I, I think in terms of, you know, is the course easy or hard? I think initially um, the course has a tendency to attract a lot of non-science science majors and I think a lot of them come in the idea when they hear they're going to watch Hollywood blockbuster films, they kind of have this sigh of relief, oh this is going to be a, an easy science course. Um, and what I hope they take away from it after looking at these films and talking about them is that, that these issues are actually much more complex than they would otherwise seem. Um, so I don't, certainly not an easy course despite what maybe the format, you know, the idea of watching Hollywood blockbuster films for an earth science course being a little bit different. Um, no, I, I, I think they get their money's worth and, and we, we spend a lot of time really working on really understanding what is the state of knowledge on these scientific topics and there's a lot of hardcore science that's kind of hidden in these topics that I convey upon them and we discuss. Uh, initially when I first taught the course I, I chose them myself based on topical material I wanted to cover but this last time I taught it the students actually I gave them a selection of about 25 films and in that first week we put the syllabus together and I let them select which films that they wanted to view with some guidance from my end in terms of we didn't want to watch three tornado films or three hurricane films or three earthquake films so um, with that kind of as uh, initial platform I let them do the selection. Well in terms of new films that are that are coming out um, one of the, the changes I made from the first time I taught the course and when I most recently taught the course I found students although they like the Hollywood blockbuster films were requesting more documentary style things like an Aaron Brockovich or a civil action or inconvenient truth um, and so I've added some of those films I added inconvenient truth this year Al Gore's film um, and we spent some time looking at this you know how good that science was as well in terms of uh, looking at some of the the good science in it and not that there was bad science but there's some uncertainty that merited some discussion that we we talked about in terms of new films that are out there there's always Hollywood is always coming up with new stuff. Someone had suggested Blood Diamond, I think, about the diamond trade that recently came out. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's on the radar in terms of you know films due out this summer, but I can pretty much always bank on at least one or two new films a year that would fit this category and merit some discussion. It has some scientific premise. Uh, I've only taught the course twice, but in terms of student interest and student involvement, um, I've had a wait list that is uh, basically double the size of my enrollment. So there's certain, certain seems to be at least a little bit of a buzz on campus about students wanting to get into the course. I'd like to think it's because 
you know, they're interested in, in the topical material, but for whatever reason, um, I've had no shortage of students wanting to sign up for the course, and that, that's from freshmen all the way up to seniors. Um, how much of that is fed by a lot of the natural disasters going on? I think people realize it seems to be in the news a lot, whether it's wildfires or volcanoes or earthquakes or climate change or global warming. You know, these are topics that I think students are realizing are very much part of their future. And I think that has certainly gotten what student doesn't like to talk about a natural disaster. Um, but things like Katrina and others, I think, have really brought, or the tsunami of 2004, I think have made these very real to many even non-science students. So yeah, I mean, I think that's certainly, not that I'm rooting for natural disasters uh, to happen, but when they do, I think it, it causes people to pause to think about why they happen and what we can learn from those problems and what we can do better in terms of preparing ourselves for these.